everyone, my name is Pixie333 and today in this video I'm doing a Draw My Life Pets Edition. Now in this I'm going to be taking you through all the pets I've had in my lifetime and telling you a bit about each one. So let's get on with the video in a minute but before we do I'm going to do a disclaimer first and just say I am a terrible drawer so if you've come up to this video to look for amazing drawings you've come to the wrong place. I can't draw. So yeah, let's just get on with the first story. So the first one I'm doing is introducing you to a little dog called Cindy and she was a dog that my mum had before I was born. Um, she was a lovely, lovely, lovely dog. Um, she was actually found at a shelter for the dogs and puppies and things and my mum got her as a puppy. They actually told my mum that she and two other puppies were left in the middle of a road and that's when they found them so it was lucky that they did found them otherwise they could have been seriously injured or even killed so the next one i'm drawing is a dog that my mom also had a little bit after cindy but cindy was still around um called candy and candy was um again really really good friends with cindy um so my mum got her at an adoption place as well. She'd come from a broken home and, oh there was Candy, she had come from a broken home and really, really, really needed a nice happy home. So my mum took Candy on. Um, sadly, Candy was found to have um, lots of mood swings. Oh, she was happy one minute and sad the next. Um, the nurses always told my mum that Candy was overweight and needed to lose loads and loads of weight. Um, because she was fat so when actually my mum knew that wasn't true it turned out Candy had a big tumour growing in her stomach which made her put on a lot more weight and made it look like she was a lot over a lot bigger than she actually was um, when they did the surgery they told my mum that the tumour was the size of a football and that is why you're going to have to put on with my terrible drawing of a football so it was really sad that um, Candy had to have the operation. She was about eight or nine years old when she had this operation. So sadly, after the operation, my mum thought that it would make Candy's mood swings and things stop and make her a bit more happier, but it didn't work. Then Cindy died shortly after. She just died of old age but she was still a beautiful, beautiful doggy and my mum, my dad and me, even though I wasn't around, loved her very, very much and I've heard so many stories about her. So six months later, my mum and dad also got a pet rat called Ratty. Um, this is me drawing him now. Um, he was actually a lovely, lovely rat with a massive personality. He was actually my uncle's rat for a couple of years and then he went on holiday and asked my mum to look after him for him so that um, it, he got fed properly and things um, and then my mum just didn't give him back because she fell in love with him. We all fell in love with him. This was again before I was born but I've been told he had an amazing personality and loved everyone and was kind to everyone and loved big big cuddles. So one year later um, Ratty sadly passed away of old age because he was quite old when my mum first got him but we he's very much missed. So two years later um, we had moved into our new house, which is actually the house that I used to live in that I started this YouTube channel in. So we had moved into that new house and we had also got a bunny rabbit called Honey um, that I'm, I have talked about before, I believe, in the past. Um, he was a beautiful brown bunny rabbit and I decided to call him Honey. So then two years later... Um, 
my mum told me that for Christmas she and my dad was getting me um, a puppy and they decided, um, they told me that I could give it a name and I decided to call her Holly and that is the Holly that you know and love today. So um, we, I was very, very excited. I was, I don't know how old I was, I was only young and um, yeah, we were told that we were going to get Holly and she was a Yorkshire Terrier. Then two to three weeks later, we went to pick up um, Holly from the shelter we was getting her from. And the woman that was giving them to us told us that um, Holly had a sister that no one had got yet and nobody wanted yet. And if we wanted her, we could have her. And we fell in love with her automatically and we fell in love with Holly. So we took them both home and we decided to call one Holly and one Emma. And they are the two dogs we know today. Yeah, another two years later, Honey sadly died. Three years later, um, we, I told my parents that I really, really, really wanted a guinea pig. And they told me that if I could look after a hamster well, then I would be able to have a um, guinea pig later on. So we went on Gumtree and found this picture of a beautiful, beautiful Syrian hamster who was a girl called Peanut. So we decided to go and pick her up and the woman gave us the cage that Peanut lived in um, as well so that we didn't have to go out and buy another cage, which I thought was very, very nice. Then one and a half years later, we decided to get another hamster, I believe, from Pets at Home. Now, the reason we got them from Pets at Home is we was going out shopping for um, some dog food and we saw this beautiful little Rob Roska ham hamster called Peppy who was super duper quick and fast. And they told us that if he didn't get bought in the next five days, they were going to feed him to the snakes. And we got really, really upset on that and we couldn't let that happen. So... Um, we took Peppy home and we bought a new cage for him. Um, he was always very shy and timid and because he was so fast it was very hard to catch him but we still loved him. Then one year later um, Peanut sadly passed away of old age. Um, she had just got really old. We decided to um, bury her in this bluey, bluey purpley coloured plant pot and loads of flowers grew. Then two to three weeks later, I came home one day and saw this beautiful black guinea pig in um, Peanut's old cage with loads of hay and food and everything in there. Um, and my mum told me that his name was Bruce and he was a guinea pig. So then two years later, Pe Peppy sadly died. He was a beautiful Roboski hamster. He died of old age as well. And we buried him in the same um, plant pot that we did peanut um, and I did do a video called R.I.P. Peppy if any of you want to see that. Um, so currently we are left with um, Holly and Emma who are two Yorkshire Terrier dogs who are going to be eight soon and then we have Bruce as well who is a beautiful guinea pig and I love them all so so much so make sure before this video ends to add me on Snapchat my name is pixieplace333 and on Instagram, my name is Pixie333. So make sure to follow and add me on both of those. But that's the end of this video here, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.